Shalom, shalom. In today's video, man, I'm gonna be answering this very controversial topic. Should a man marry a woman with kids and should a woman marry a man with kids? Let's talk about it. to the Most High Yah, Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches, handling that kingdom business. Man, first and foremost, I don't want you to think that just because a man or a woman has kids that they are bad, okay? We must exercise self-autonomy and address people as individuals instead of trying to put them all in one box and a lot of my videos where i've talked about single fatherhood and single motherhood i use words like some a lot but using words like all and every no that ain't gonna work because that doesn't fit okay here's another circumstance people don't take an account of the married population that are divorced just because somebody is divorced doesn't mean there's something wrong with them. This is a case by case basis where you truly have to analyze. You know, there's women out there that men just uproot and, and left them and a child. And these women filed for divorce so they're not out there burning in lust. And this is Western marriage. A lot of people will try to incorporate Western family court marriage with biblical marriage, and it's not the same thing. So you have to think you have a woman out there that potentially has a child and has always desired to be a wife. And it's just now in your point of life, this is where you have met her. She is a single mother that was once married, but if you automatically say, oh, she's got a child, she's disqualified, you could be missing out on a woman that, that, that could be wife material, okay? I'm not saying that applies to every woman, but you need to discern. You need to discern each person. Test the spirit in them. Same thing with a man. You got men out there that was once married and divorced. Doesn't make, doesn't make the man bad because they are divorced, but you need to discern. You need to ask questions. So what 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 caused this divorce divorce? What was your part in it? What what did you do to try to that way you know and can gauge, oh snap, man, this person, you know, uh, went through a divorce, but it's like they were actually putting in the effort to make it work. So just don't write somebody off because uh they have a child and you don't know the circumstances that this came from. Here's another one. You know. The amount of kids definitely plays a role into it. For a man, uh, a man is not typically gonna want to assume the responsibility of more than one child. And then when you get into uh, how many fathers do each of those children, like how many children's fathers are there, that complicates it. But this is a case by case thing. Man, if there is a uh, a, a woman out there and she's flat up saying, hey, you know, you know, I was married or I had a child by a man and he wasn't no good and I know he wasn't no good and I should have seen it from the beginning and you see the fruits of repentance, you see that she has turned from some of her former ways and is, is genuinely choosing and, and exercising better uh, preferences in dating and courting, I mean, that's a woman that you might want to give a chance to. You know, now, if a woman's got uh, multiple kids and all of these kids, they, they, they got a different story and the story is crazy, man, I wouldn't even want anybody, man or woman, to sign up for some foolishness because that person uh, just doesn't have sound judgment. Same thing. Women, if a man has multiple kids and multiple baby mamas and their stories behind, okay, what's this baby mama like? What's this baby mama like? Man, that's a lot to deal with. 
somebody coming at your neck because you're new in there. So I wouldn't even advise that, but each case is different. Everybody doesn't have the same case. And what about this? What about the population who are uh, uh, widows? What about the women whose husbands have died that was married? and now they're a single parent. What about the man whose wife died? There's so many different circumstances. And here's most of you I want you to take away. Man, I'm not gonna encourage a man or a woman in their 20s, in an early age, to entertain somebody with kids. You are signing up for a lot of stress that you don't have to. You still have a healthy population that has not uh, been married or engaged in having kids yet, you still got a healthy population uh, to to choose from. So I don't I don't recommend it. But here's the thing, you know, a 40 year old man or a 40 year old woman out here expecting to have this huge population of men or women to choose from that don't have kids is very delusional. It's non-existent. And I've done videos on the statistics of, okay, a woman 25, you know, 25 and older is gonna have a kid and the percentage of that and vice versa for men. I've done the statistics and pushed those out in, in numerous videos. So a, a 40 year old man or woman cannot have the same expectations as a 20 year old, as a 30 year old. As you get older, nobody's, Nobody saving themselves for you into their 40s to wait on an opportunity to be with you. That's not the way this is works. People get into relationships and things don't work out. Some people uh, use sound judgment and it still doesn't work out. Some people use no judgment at all and it plumb just flat out fails, flat on its face. Now, if somebody has done that, you know, you got a man, he didn't have a baby by a stripper. He didn't have a baby by a woman that had, had all these kids, and it's just a, it's just a whore, like, it's not a good foundation, then don't roll with it. Don't roll with it. See, nobody talks about uh, the, the, the mothers out there that are filling in the gap for sorry mothers out there, and that man found a woman that accepted him and his kids, and she's actually being a mother to those kids when the mother herself don't wanna be a mother. Don't nobody talk about that. Nobody talks about the man out there that uh, came and made sure the family was provided for, took in a woman with a child while the father was a dog, a dog on deadbeat out here doing drugs. Nobody gives homage to that. Nobody gives honor to that. But there are some circumstances where there are genuinely some good people that have learned from their mistakes before it's too late. And when I say before it's too late, I'm talking about two, three and four kids. Everybody's tolerance to kids is gonna be different and you have to respect that. But what you have to do is manage expectations. As a 50 year old single man, you can't be expecting uh, every woman you come across not to have no kids, you are delusional. Same thing as a woman, where are all the men with no kids at? And you dog on 40 years old, you didn't been married and had, like it, it, it blows my mind when women have kids, don't want a man with kids. When a man have kids, don't want a woman with kids. Blows my mind. Because oftentimes, they have the expectation, you 30 years old, but you think the dating pool is all uh, women that are in their high school phase where they don't have kids. That's non-existent. So you have to be realistic. And ultimately, ultimately, test the spirit in them. Test the spirit in them. You know, uh, if a woman has a child and whatever that situation looks like, you got to make a, 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 a choice according to sound judgment and wisdom according to that. Will you cover this woman? But if this woman is modest, is meek, is submissive, you know, got a quiet spirit, man, you got, man, you, you, you're dealing with a better woman than a lot of these women without kids. So I would tell you, yeah, go for that. Go for that because that woman is, is rare. You know, it's it's the spirit in a woman that makes her rare. You see what I'm saying? Now, there are some women and men 
that have learned a lesson, but they've learned a lesson too late. You know, it's a little bit easier uh, for a woman who has grown kids uh, to, to, to find success in a relationship. If these kids is outside the house living their life, than it is for a woman with younger kids. We see this on some of these shows. These women be having six months old infants looking for somebody to entertain them and they got two other kids outside. They got three kids. That's crazy. Like as a man, that stuff sounds crazy. You got a doggone, you looking for somebody to come in uh, to be a, you, you gotta have a heck of a story behind you. You know, my wife died and all of this. And then people don't even wanna take a risk on you because you're grieving. So I'm telling you, man, address each situation case by case. All of this noise that people put in your ear, all of what social media has told you, oh, no, you can't do this and oh, you don't do that. A lot of these people uh, don't even know what a righteous looking relationship looks like. And the Most High Yah says this, pure religion undefiled before God is to cover the fatherless and the widows in their affliction and to keep oneself unspotted from the world. So that's pure worship. So to cover, to protect, you know, that doesn't necessarily mean uh, marriage, but hey, think about that. And I'll tell you, man, there's men and women that, that have made uh, some ignorant choices out there. But you gotta understand, when did they make that choice? Oh, they made that choice two months ago. It's a high probability that they're still making ignorant choices. And men and women don't want to take on that liability. Oh, you mean tell me you just, you, your, your baby mama just had the baby and, 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 and three months ago, what she do? Oh, she a stripper. Oh, she a only family. She, oh, she, oh, no, you know. Oh, what's your baby daddy do? Oh, he a drug dealer. He do this. He really don't work. You know, he in jail. You just had the baby three months ago? Like, you have to think. Some people have put time in between and you can see, okay, Man, their mindset is definitely a lot different than what it once was. I will tell you to test the spirit and a person so you are paying attention and discern their behavioral patterns more so over than the, the fair speech that they give you. People can tickle your ears to tell you anything that you'll believe. You, it, it's, in marriage, it's not that, and, and once you take somebody on as a man or a woman, it's not the, 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 the fair words that you got a problem with, it's the behavior. They're not meeting, they're not being a doer of the word. So you wanna make sure the behavior is in line with what you are looking for in a man or as a woman. There's a lot of good men that are leaders out here, but in their life, man, they didn't chose a foolish woman. Chose a foolish woman, like a lot of men choose a foolish man. Don't know no better, ain't been raised uh, to be able to know what a yah fearing man or woman looks like. A lot of women are missing out on good men who are good leaders and providers that have a child. Maybe have multiple childs. But as that amount of children goes up, you gotta realize, man, the woman or man that has one child is gonna be more sought after than a woman or man with four children. It's just, it's, it's, it's basic logic. Closer to Yah Ministries kicking it, gun, barrel, straight. Bow.